You know, we usually say Kenya is a very corrupt country. And from what I saw yesterday, even in the judiciary, we are still having corruption. And in this video, we are going to look at primarily the corruption incidences, or rather the illegalities that took place yesterday at the High Court. In the first case, we had judges trying to illegally render a unilateral verdict to consolidate all the cases, including some of which were to be heard and determined on the 24th by a team that's handpicked by the Chief Justice herself. They tried to take all those cases and listen to them yesterday and render one verdict, in other words, consolidating the cases. This even forced advocates like Teresia Wairimu, who was watching the TV like every other Kenyan, only to hear her case mentioned, and it's not meant for that day. She had to rush from her home in Kirinyaga, get in a vehicle all the way to the court to ask politely, what kind of nonsense is this? Why are you mentioning my case? And I am not informed. Here's the tip. The, the, issue, the issue was that, uh, and I've also talked about it, we were never informed. And any petition, any case that will be given direction, so long as I'm in it, so long as there's a petitioner there, I have to be heard. And that is the law. And there's nothing new I'm saying. This is the procedure all advocates use. Why is it that I'm being ignored? I'm being notified 11 a.m. watching television and I was very eager like any normal Kenyan. I see my petition being mentioned. I was very angry, but I decided to take a vehicle from Kirinyaga County quickly to come before this court and inform the court that that is not fair. That is not fair and Article 50 has been violated. And this being a constitutional court, kindly, kindly allow us to participate fairly. You know, anytime there's a discussion on the dining table and you are not present, it is you who is on the menu. So it's a good thing that Teresia rushed there to ask the same judges face to face, what are you doing? Why are you mentioning my matter without informing me? I'm not even aware. The second illegality that took place was Deputy Chief Justice Mwilu selecting the three-judge panel that was to render a verdict yesterday. Yet, as per the Constitution, she doesn't have such powers. That is the role of the Chief Justice of Kenya. It is the same way we have a Deputy President, but it is President Ruto who is in charge of the armed forces of Kenya. That role is not shared. So why did Deputy Chief Justice Mwilu take advantage of the fact that Martha Koome is out of the country, so I hear, to begin forming illegal panels? That is food for thought, and here is Wakili Ndegwanjiru raising the same matter. Roll the tip. Oh, under what circumstances the Chief Justice, the Deputy Chief Justice, authorize you to sit on a Saturday? Under what circumstances did the Chief Justice herself, Deputy Chief Justice herself, sit at night, in the wee hours of the night, ungodly hours, and constituted this bench? Your Lordship, it's our humble submissions that Article 10 has only arrogated that function again exclusively to the Chief Justice. And that the Deputy Chief Justice has no power under Section 10 of the High Court Organization and Administration Act to, to, to order you or to the Even Wakili Dunstan Omari raised hell over this exact same issue. Here he is. Kisha ile file kabe kutoka kengoya sako sana usik kujanairo. Ili poleto naibu wa Chief Justice ambaye hana nguvu za kisheria za kuweza kufanya impanelment. Sababu hilo ni jukumu la Chief Justice Pickard. Jukumu hilo ni kama lile la rais la kuwa amiri jeshi mkuu wa taifa. Hawezi pea mtu wa mlaka yale. Chief Justice hawezi pea na yale mlaka. Naibu wa rais, naibu wa Chief Justice, akaketi usiku pengine saa sita usiku. Akafanya maamuzi peke yake mwendo wa saa sita usiku kwamba majaji aliwateua watatu wale majaji wakaketi siku ya Jumamosi aliye hapa ni wakili Nyaberi ambaye ni church elder wa kanisa la SDA tuliweka kesi kotini kupinga bunge kuketi siku ya Jumamosi majaji hawa watatu wameketi siku ya Jumamosi bila mawakili wakashagwa bila kuzingatia uhuru wa kikatiba wa kuabudu 
1932. Now when it comes to Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu, I think there is <laughs> there is so much subject matter. There was the issue of legality, whether she had the right to form that panel and she doesn't. And then there is the issue of how fast she moved. She did all this on Saturday somewhere in the middle of the night alone without involving anybody. Even Paul Muite could not resist raising that matter in court. Here's the tip. Making submission. But my Lord, do give us this is a very weighty matter. This E015 in Kiroboya. The orders of your brother, Mr. Justice Mungo, were given at 4 p.m. Where did the file come from Kirinyava to go to the Deputy Chief Justice? It is two hours drive from Kirinyaga. When did the deputy chief just sit in the middle of the night of Friday? To give directions. Permit us, permit us to articulate these issues for the sake of the nation. We are not just dealing with the removal and the challenge to the removal of the deputy president. We are dealing about the president that will be set for the removal of deputy presidents in future and the removal of president in future. But all in all, justice prevailed and the three-judge panel disbanded itself. This in turn led to the president asking that this matter should be heard once and for all by the Supreme Court. In fact, it's the very first time that the president has directly gotten involved with this matter and in the next video I'll tell you why the president is asking that this issue should go directly to the Supreme Court and should not be handled by the High Court. But all in all, yesterday we saw a lot of illegalities. You know, Gashagwa's camp claims those illegalities in the National Assembly and in the Senate where they rendered a verdict while Rigadi was sick and not able to be present for that. So they are going to the courts to seek justice, but the very court is also a breeding ground for illegalities. It's very interesting to see what happened yesterday. But uh, in the next video, which I'm doing right now, uh, hopefully you'll stick around for that. I'll be looking at why the president wants this case to go directly to the Supreme Court and not hang around at the high court level. At the end of the day, guys, that's all I had for you today. Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.